Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's great to see each and every one of you. Today I want to play a game. Do you guys want to play a game? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, I, I actually can't hear, uh, I can't hear you. I, 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 I can't hear you because this is a camera, it's a video, and you're not in this room with me, so. <laughs> but I'm in the room with you. Yeah. It's all right. We'll play anyways. So the game I want to play is called Spot the Difference. Hmm. We'll see. Do you guys see a difference? Hmm. Ah! Well that one's missing a flower, and that one's missing a leaf. Next one! Well this is kind of fun. A little ocean theme with the little fishies in the water. Let's see. Hmm. Can you guys see it? Hmm. Aha! This one has a tree and a cloud, and this one doesn't. Easy. Next one. Ah, let's see here. The woman at the well. Ah, what is the difference? Aha! There's a rope in this one, and not a rope in that one. Done. All right, let's figure this one out. Um, uh, I mean, they kind of look exactly the same. Oh, um, uh, what? Oh, we're getting a call. Look at this baby. Carl, what's going on, man? Hey, TJ, we're just playing a game. Maybe you could help out. I can try. What's, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out the difference between these two photos. I'm having the hardest time. I know they're in there. I just can't find them. Here, let me take a look. I'm telling you, it's the hardest one yet. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I... Wait a minute. Carl. <laughs> Carl, man. What? What'd you find? That's the same picture, man. The same picture? What do you mean? It's the same picture. There's no difference between the two. No, it can't be. Oh. Oh, you're right. That's my bad. Here's the real second picture. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, yeah, that one's a little bit easier, but I, I get where you're going with this. <laughs> Well, that didn't go as planned. So where are you in today, TJ? Well, I was going to go over this week's Bible story with you. Well, that sounds great. Where's the story at? First Kings chapter 19. We're still talking about Elijah. That guy had a crazy life. He sure did. God had big plans for him. You can say that again. What happened in this story? Well, King Ahab told Jezebel what happened on Mount Carmel, you know, with the whole false god thing. And boy, was she angry with Elijah. But it wasn't his fault. He was worshiping the wrong God. I know, but she didn't care. She told Elijah that she wanted to hurt him. And Elijah got scared. I would too. I don't want nobody to hurt me. So Elijah went a long way away and he was sad and didn't want to keep going. So he prayed to God, laid down and went to sleep. That's the end of the story? He got tired and took a nap? Not quite. You see, when he was asleep, an angel came down and tapped him. And when he woke up, he found water and food next to him. Wow, isn't that cool? It really was. And after that, he had more energy, so he traveled for a long time. And then one day, God spoke to Elijah. God did what? God spoke to Elijah. Wow, that's really cool. It makes sense though, he was a prophet. So what did God say? 
God told Elijah to go up on a mountain because the Lord was going to pass by. What? That's awesome. So God, the Lord Almighty, was going to pass by Elijah? This is going to be huge. What happened? Well, there was a wind. A wind? Yeah, yeah. A wind so strong, so powerful, that it tore the mountains apart and shook the rocks around Elijah. Holy guacamole. <laughs> that was God. That's the thing. God wasn't in the wind. Really? What happened next? Well, get this. Then an earthquake started. <laughs> what? A quake of the earth? <laughs> yeah, but God wasn't in the earthquake either. Really? Really. But then came fire. Fire? Fire. But God wasn't in the fire either. Oh, come on. How is this possible? <laughs> Don't worry, because the next thing that happened, God was there. What was it? A tornado? An avalanche? A tsunami? A fireworks show? What? A whisper. A whisper? What? Yeah. God showed up in a small whisper to Elijah. God spoke to Elijah, not by a strong wind or by an earthquake or a fire, but by a whisper. Huh, that is so cool. Kind of strange, but cool. I wish I was a prophet like Elijah. Well, why do you say that? Well, it'd be cool to have God speak to me like that. God does. Uh, what are you talking about, TJ? I've read the Bible, and I see a God speaking to all types of special people. But that's not the case for me. Carl, man, of course it is. It may not come through an earthquake, a, a, a strong wind, or a fire. But just like the last picture we looked at, where there's no difference, there is no difference between you and Elijah. God loves you just as much, and God speaks to you. Wow, I guess I never looked at it like that. It's amazing. God speaks to me. Hey, Carl, you just said our big idea. <laughs> no way. Today's big idea is, it's amazing, God speaks to me. And on the count of three, we'll all say it out loud and together. One. Two, three. It's, it's amazing. amazing. God, God speaks, speaks to me. To me. <laughs> All right. God speaks Good to me. Good job, everybody. God speaks to me. Good job. Well, I feel much better knowing that God speaks to me. You should. It's pretty exciting. You know what else is exciting? <laughs> What's that? No, I was asking. What else is exciting? <laughs> you crazy, man. Hey, kids. We'll see y'all next time. See you guys next week. <laughs> TJ, what's exciting? Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Roll.